Hey guys, David here and welcome to another Endurance Laser video. In this quick video, uh, I just want to show you how you can easily work with layers in various different programs to increase the productivity with your laser. Now, let's say we want to engrave this design here. It's uh, going to be a panel that is uh, cut out, defined by this uh, black box, and we want to engrave Endurance on it and this image. Now, this image and the text will need different settings than the outline here. And the way we can do this is by having them on different layers. If you're using Lightburn, this is very simple. Uh, you can just uh, choose a different layer down here. Uh, all of these colors represent layers. And if you, you can click on an object and then change what layer it is on. Then here on the right in the cuts panel, we see all of our different layers. And we, uh, if you click on them, we can here adjust our different parameters or we can double click them to uh, see the detail view. Then here we can also uh, adjust the mode for the different uh, layers. The outline here, the black one, I want as a line and I've set the parameters to cutting. And then the text here I want to fill and the uh, parameters are adjusted accordingly. If we now export this, it will go through in the order that they are listed here. And if you want to change that, let's say we want to do the cutout in the very end to, so that it doesn't move on us, we can just use these arrow keys down here to move this and change the order. And then if you uh, click on Save G-Code, this will be exported. Another really great program uh, that is actually free is LaserWeb. And in here it works very similarly. Up here we import our different documents that we might have. Uh, there's no designer in here, so you might have uh, this uh, skull here, and then you might want to do some different operations as well, and you want different settings. Now if you th then take these and drag them down here, uh, it automatically creates a new layer for each object that you add. And on these layers, just like in Lightburn, you can adjust your laser power, your cutting rate, and all of that good stuff, and use these arrow keys to change the order. If you want to not create an entirely new layer for each object, but add an object to an existing layer, you can drag it instead of dragging it here, you can drag it inside of the layer uh, to this area, and then it will be added to this same layer. And you can simply just delete it again here. If you then export it, it will work just like in Lightburn, where you get a G-code file that will do all the different things in one. But what if you're using uh, Laser Gribble, because that's the software that's recommended for Ortura lasers. Well, you can also use the other two software. This is a lot simpler to use, and to get started, it's a great piece of software. In here, you simply uh, click here to open a file. Let's see, we want to do this business card. We open it up, and then here we get to uh, adjust some of the settings, what we want to do with it, and then we go next and set the size of uh, our design and the speed and click on create. Then it generates this preview here and we will just click on this uh, play icon here to start the engraving if we're connected to a laser. But what if you want to then have a different settings to cut out this business card? Well, you cannot do this in one file here in laser Gribble because there's no laser support. But what you can do is instead of uh, Directly cutting it here is go to File, Save Program, and then here in Laser, uh, let's save this program here, and uh, then let's open up a different file, and uh, let's choose this one here for the cut. And here I will actually choose Vectorize, and then I want to cut out the outside here, plus I want to, uh, for an extra added effect, I also want to cut out the inner parts of the logo. Then we click next and here we have to really be very careful that the size is exactly the same as in the previous one. I know that these uh, images will line up because they're derived from the same image. I just edited one of them. Uh, but uh, if these sizes here are different, it will not line up in the end. And then we just change the speed here for what we want and to do. Click create and we get the preview for the new one here. Then we also go to file, save program and save it and now we have the two files now we could just uh, load this file and then uh, cut it directly after one after each other and it'll work fine uh, as long as you have the same reference point and uh, nothing uh, gets disconnected in between the two cuts it will work without a problem but what we can also do that is a lot uh, more elegant is we have these two files here 
and then we can open them up and actually look at the code inside. Now, what I'm using here is a Notepad++, but just regular Notepad or whatever other text editor you use will work fine. And here you can see the G-code command. What we now want to do is combine the two different cards, uh, do two different codes. So for that, I will also open the other one up. And so here we have these two files. And what we can simply do is take this one to Control A, copy all of the code, go to the very bottom of the first one. Uh, you can see that there's a lot of lines since it's an engraving operation. And then just paste all of this down here. And this will then run all, all of these commands after the other one. It's basically the same as you running the two files after each other, except that you have to just hit play once and there's no chance of you uh, moving stuff in between and you don't have to actually be there to start the second program. And we just want to save that and then we can uh, go ahead and uh, run this file, which now includes both of the files. So I hope this helped you out if you want to work with layers yourself and you depending on which program you're using. If you're using the plugin for Inkscape, uh, since it also does not support uh, multiple layers, you can use the same approach as with uh, Laser Gribble, except there you have the benefit that you can see that everything lines up nicely before you export the individual objects. But it will otherwise work exactly the same. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.